This is the second time Parliament is debating the 2020 proposed cybercrime bill. The bill has received serious opposition and caught much public attention since it was first laid in the well of Parliament. The government bench parliamentarians believe the bill is to protect and regulate the cyberspace, whilst the opposition maintains that if the bill is passed into law without including recommendations of concerned groups, it would be a potential to infringing on the rights and privacy of citizens. If you look at section 25 of the 1991 constitution, we talked about freedom of expression and the freedom of the press. This cybercrime bill is militating against that provision of the constitution. And there is no, there is no way an act if it is going to be approved. There is no way this proposed bill can supersede the provisions of the constitution. The first amendment of the American constitution which talks about freedom of speech. But it's not freedom of regular speech. It's freedom of responsible speech. And when you use freedom of speech to ensure that you damage the reputation of others. It's a big crime. Yes. With in as much as we talk about protecting human rights, but we also have to make laws that punish human wrongs. Among the concerns raised by opposition MPs, development of data protection bill is highly recommended to be aligned with the cybercrime bill. The information minister committed to ensuring that public fears are recognized and fully addressed for the bill to be people-centered. Concerns have been raised here about data protection and privacy. I could not agree more. In this bill, a lot of provisions have been made to ensure the security of individuals and the protection of their data. However, um, they may not be enough, and the consultations over the period has brought additional insights. Both our consultants and the various groups we consulted have given us additional insights, and therefore we will be providing additional safeguards to ensure data integrity, uh, individual data is protected and fundamental human rights are respected at all times. The bill has been dedicated to the Legislative Committee for Exhaustive Examination. Parliament is adjourned to sit on 10th May this year for further deliberations on the cybercrime bill. Salivujarna Kamara, AYV News in Freetown.